guys, last week I thinned out the carrots and we had three days. I knew the storm was coming. We had hail one day. It got down to 35 degrees for the high for the entire day. I got my one raised bed covered up. That was in another video. And I needed to cover my carrots for the winter so that they wouldn't get flooded out. And so after three days we had snow mixed with rain. It was coming down sideways right out of the north. It was cold. We didn't get it, a lot of it on the ground, but there is still ice pellets all around from where it still isn't thawed out. I think it's about 42 degrees right now out, out here in the yard. It's chilly, but it's clear. And so I'm going to cut the frost damage back on my Swiss chard. I'm gonna clear the cucumber vines back here um, in the back behind my carrots, get that all cleared, put that on the compost, and um, just make a temporary cover for this winter. It's gonna be made out of half inch, CPVC. It's really, let me get in the camera view, it's really bendable and it's what I've used for the past for my raised beds when I just want to put a quickie cover over them in the, for the early spring. I just put it down in the dirt, throw a row cover over the top so that nothing lays on top of the leaves. Anyhow, I'm going to cover it with greenhouse film. It's not expensive. You can get small rolls for this type of project or you can get a big huge roll if you have a lot to do. It's a little cheaper if you get more. Um, I get mine from Greenhouse Megastore. You can get it from a whole bunch of different greenhouse places. Check for the availability in your area and check for shipping because the shipping isn't really expensive for me, but it might be expensive for other people in other areas. So what I have here is I have half inch two hole straps. You get them at any of the do-yourself stores. What this is going to do is I am going to hook these in the top part of my raised beds. Um, the top part of my raised bed is a 2x4 that's been painted, so let me see if you can see this. It's got a little whoop -dee on it, and the EMT, the conduit, the plastic conduit will slip right through there. This is made for metal. I'm going to set these up about... Uh, these are 8 foot, so probably I'll set, uh, for this year, probably 4 of them up, one on one end, and then one on the other and then two kind of separated out into the middle. Okay, as you can see, I put in one screw. There's my three inch mark, it's in the middle. It's three inches off the other side of this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this inside. It is a little bit loose because this is for EMT, not the plastic tubing and then I'm going to bend it over to the other side. So I'm going to push down in the dirt a little bit and then I'm going to bend it over onto the back side. This one right there, three inches from the corner. The second one over there, three inches for the corner. And then we bent it and it came around like this. So what now I'm going to do is I'm going to go another one about two feet, another one about two, two and a half feet. So it's so I have one down there at the end, one here, one here, so there'll be four of them. And as soon as I get done with that, I'll be right back. So as you can see, I have my four in. They're about 20 to 22 inches apart. I wasn't real close didn't care, just wanted to get this up. It's uh, 1 30 and as you can see the sun is just finally coming around the building so this is not a real good winter bed. This side isn't going to get sun for very long. The sun's already coming down. We're up in the northern hemisphere so we don't get much sun in this bed. This is a really good place on this side but I didn't have any carrots planted on this side this year. I planted them over here. Next year the bed that I put away for the winter bed will be my carrots for all year long and then I'll rotate that back bed because that gets sun even in the winter time. I need to put a cross rail up on the top. So what I'm using is for the top rail is just a six foot bamboo pole that I have. Um, it's what I use for my peas and for the tomatoes over there. This isn't permanent. I keep the greenhouse fabric from pooling water when it rains so hard. I wanted to be able to run off of the little hoop house here. So I'm just using twine and I'm just going to tie each one up to the six foot mark like this and then I will tie another one about right here and on the other side 
so it will keep this from blowing too much. We are in zone 8B. We don't get usually that cold. We'll get down to the teens occasionally, but this should be enough cover to keep the, the um, carrots from freezing completely. We just want to keep a lot of the water. We've In three days, we've gotten so much water, my backyard is flooded. I walked out and found some old leftover pieces of greenhouse plastic, which worked out really good. It's a little bit beat up. It's going to be great for, for this application. So I'm just going to tie them on. It is temporary. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so I'm going to put this over the top of it, button it down, and raise it up a little bit so that the air can go through because we don't want the stuff to mold. We just want to keep the rain off of it. So that's what I'm going to do now. is temporary right now. Um, I don't know why my clips are, ba are being back ordered or they're just late getting here. Um, but I do have clips for these which makes them a lot easier. I'll have to go check to see what's taking so long. So what I did was I stapled the greenhouse plastic was at the base. I took one of these bamboo sticks, laid it down, rolled the plastic up just over the top, stapled all the way across the top which then gave me a uh, way to roll this up to the sides, then I just used a piece of twine to hold it for right now. I'm going to use bungee cords later, but right now this is just temporary for today. I'm losing the light. It does get dark by 4.30 now up in the northern hemisphere. We went to daylight savings time this last Saturday, and uh, it's getting dark fast. So I'm going to go over the other side, do that, get that wound up, and this should be good enough for tonight. We're not supposed to have any high winds. If not, I'll come out and I'll run a uh, string and I'll staple it to the bottom of the box, run it over the top and back and forth to keep it from lifting. So what you see in here, let me move the stuff away, is you can see the top and how the sides come down. And let me back up a little bit, it's such a small space. And you can see how the sides roll up for temporary so the air can flow through and it's completely covered. Let me run over here to this side here. Excuse the green fencing but that keeps the feral kitties from getting in my garden. And the same with this side. So when you look through, let me get up close, you can see right through the other side of the garden, the air can flow. This is east and west. So the air can flow east and west, and the garden can grow. I'll have to come out and check the soil to make sure that it doesn't get too dry, because I don't want it to get too dry. This bindweed is on everything right here. just hate that bindweed stuff. Constantly pulling it. Anyway, um, so that's what it looks like down this side of the bed. Peek over the top. So I can go up a little bit more. I can go, I don't know if I can, I can go right about to where this one is, which is just off the top and over. And right now they're just tied with strings until I can get my clips. But it'll do, it'll do for tonight. And that's what it looks like, four foot by six foot. Next year it'll be looking so much better because it'll actually be permanent instead of temporary. Have a great day.